most vaccine preventable diseases covered under our national childhood immunization program, such as uh, polio, uh, diphtheria, neonatal tetanus, uh, congenital rubella, have been eliminated. And endemic measles transmission has virtually been interrupted. Acute hepatitis B in children is uncommon, and the hepatitis B carrier rate in children below 18 years of age have been reduced to well below 1%. Singapore was certified free from endemic transmission of malaria, or malaria by the WHO, World Health Organization, in 1982. Uh, Japanese encephalitis, another mosquito-borne disease, has disappeared since uh, pig farming was phased out in the early 1990s. And foodborne diseases such as uh, cholera, typhoid, hepatitis A have declined to a very low level, uh, very similar to that of other industrialized countries, with the majority of our cases imported. First, uh, we have uh, it's the availability of safe, effective vaccines and high coverage of the childhood population, the high immunization coverage. The second thing is a high standard of environmental sanit sanitation and hygiene uh, since the formation of the Ministry of the Environment in 1972. And then, of course, we have the very well-established system of epidemiological surveillance and uh, outbreak management. Nationwide foodborne outbreak paratyphoid A of 167 cases in 1966 was a tremendous challenge. Before that outbreak, uh, almost all the reported cases of paratyphoid fever were imported. Then in March 1966, there was a sudden increase in the reported cases of paratyphoid fever with no recent travel history, from fewer than one case per week to 10 to 14 cases per week over the subsequent weeks. These cases uh, were distributed all over Singapore and not clustered uh, in any locality. All age groups were affected with 40% to 50% from the Indian ethnic group. Despite very extensive uh, investigations, no common food centre or food establishment or food item could be implicated. The main problem uh, in the epidemiology investigation is the recall history uh, of the cases prior to onset of symptoms. In view of the long incubation period of paratyphoid fever, up to three weeks, and further delay in clinical diagnosis and laboratory confirmation after onset of illness. The working hypothesis for the vehicle of transmission was a batch of contaminated food distributed throughout Singapore. But what food or food ingredient used for the preparation of large varieties of food consumed by the cases, in particular the Indian ethnic group. The leak came when uh, it was observed that an Indonesian restaurant where a few cases had consumed their meals uh, was using imported de shell, de husk, coconut for the preparation of a freshly squeezed unpasteurized coconut milk, an ingredient for ice chando dessert. Coconuts have been uh, imported in this manner for a number of years. Some were distributed to food factories for the production of uh, pasteurized coconut milk, while others were distributed to wet markets and uh, food establishments for the preparation of a variety of coconut-based food items. As coconut was suspected to be a possible vehicle of transmission, a case control, a case control study was carried out. Uh, cases were re-interviewed together with a group of controls using a standard form with leading questions on consumption of a number of specific food items. It was established that consumption of a variety, a large variety of food items in which uncooked or partially cooked coconut, especially uh, unpasteurized coconut milk, was, uh, uh, was used as an ingredient Use as an ingredient was specific, uh, was significantly associated with, youth, with illness. So with this uh, import of raw, dishao, dehas coconuts was uh, 
immediately banned. Only the husk coconut were allowed to be imported. The outbreak was uh, quickly brought under control. Singapore has done very well in the management of dengue through a very well-established national AIDS control program since the early 1970s. The strategy uh, incorporating source reduction, uh, health education and law enforcement was based on epidemiological and entomological research carried out in the 1960s. A serological uh, surveys uh, conducted in children and adults uh, confirmed that the herd immunity of our population against dengue virus infection has been declining over the last three decades. The Aedes population, as uh, measured by the Aedes House Index, has also been reduced from 25% to 50% in the 1960s to around 1% to 2% over the last few decades. This has resulted in the paradoxical situation in that dengue outbreaks in a population with low immunity tend to occur more frequently and rapidly and with greater intensity even with low AIDS uh, mosquito population. What else could we do? Well, if we have dengue vaccines with higher uh, efficacy against the two predominant uh, circulating uh, dengue serotypes, that is uh, dengue 1 and dengue 2, uh, will be useful. While biological control methods such as the use of Obakia is uh, being looked into. To bring this problem uh, under control, uh, the key is uh, total community in involvement in the fight against dengue. Every individual has the responsibility to take simple steps to check and to prevent breeding of Aedes mosquito. In the case of chikungunya disease, it was uncommon until the virus was introduced into Singapore in an epidemic which swept through the Indian Ocean Islands, South and Southeast Asia in 2005. When the first local transmission was identified in January 2008, it was uh, rapidly contained. Unfortunately, due to a mutation of the virus, which multiplied more efficiently in Aedes albopitus, sustained local transmission with large localized outbreaks occurred in several receptive areas in 2009. We shift in the uh, focus of vector control strategy targeting at Aedes albopitus, a re-emergence of the chikungunya virus disease in 2013 was again brought under control. Emerging infectious disease spread by the respiratory route, in particular uh, pandemic flu caused by a novel virus to which the human population has no immunity is of particular concern. Based on our experience gain in handling uh, the SARS uh, outbreak in 2003 and the lessons learned, uh, Singapore is now very well prepared in dealing with the prevention of importation into and spread of uh, emerging infectious disease in the country. Uh, this is shown by the recent emergence of uh, MERS-CoV, uh, H7N9, avian flu, and Ebola virus. Yes. Well, it's, I mean, very, uh, it's a very most rewarding journey for me uh, as an infectious disease epidemiologist over the last four decades. Uh. Uh, under the leadership of my younger colleagues, uh, uh, epidemiological surveillance and research have been further strengthened with good laboratory facilities supported by a team of well-trained officers. And uh, Singapore is now recognised as a centre of excellence in epidemiological surveillance and outbreak management in the region.